Hello again, everybody. Welcome back to another episode in my playthrough of Blood and Wine. Thank you for joining me again. We're here in Beauclair. The reason I'm here is because I came here to sell off some inventory. We had picked up a lot of stuff from all those bandits we killed, and uh, I got my inventory back down to 70. Made quite a bit of coin, so that's pretty cool. I was trying to decide what I wanted to do next in this episode, and I was taking a look at our quests, and we've got quite a few quests here. I mean, We've got some treasure hunts here left over. We still need to find the rest of this gear. Uh, we have a few fairly high level Witcher contracts. We're only at level 44. And then uh, we have a whole bunch of secondary quests. And I was thinking of uh, maybe even doing the main quest, uh, but I instead think that maybe what we'll do is this uh, quest that Yen asked us to do. Uh, if you look at it on the map, it's not real close, but it's not real far away either. It's right out here. Um, there's no real close way to get there. I mean, I guess I could go here, but it's not really that much closer than where we are now. So I was thinking we would just hop on Roach and ride on over here and um, do this thing for Yen. So as a uh, memory refresher, it was a warm summer evening or perhaps a cool yet sunny morning. The weather and time are of no import. What matters is that day Geralt received a letter from Yennefer, who informed him about a most unusual discovery she had recently made. She'd found mention of research conducted by a Professor Moreau on Witcher mutations. So there's that Moreau name again. Uh, we just found a portal of his in the last episode and learned about his son Jerome. I think it was Jerome, uh, whom he kept imprisoned, but we don't know why. But apparently this guy has been doing research on Witcher mutations. It seemed this professor's workshop could be found in Toussaint. Geralt, realizing the importance of this discovery, decided to find this laboratory. The first step would be to find the professor's journal, which, according to Yen, had been buried with him. Oh, okay, that's right, he's dead. Geralt soon discovered not only he wished to find Professor Moreau's laboratory. When the Witcher reached the cemetery, he found the professor's grave had been dug up, and the journal was nowhere to be found. The only clue he did find was an inscription on a grave mentioning the legendary Dol Navda, the Valley of the Nine, which had been flooded years before by the Sands Retour River. Seeing no other way to find the professor's lab, Geralt decided to search for more information in those sunken ruins, and that is what we are going to do right now. Hop on Roach and see if we can't make our, make our way over here. Actually, let's go here instead. We'll go to this question mark and then we'll go up there. So, uh, we will call Roach, who was uh, hanging out in the city, apparently. And we'll follow the dotted line here. And get out of this city. I don't think I realized the city was up on a, such a big hill. Huh. Alright. Let's do this, Roach. Uh... Let's see. Let's go. I'm gonna try to basically just make a beeline for this place instead of following, trying to find the dotted line, which isn't all that reliable. What was that? Whoa! Oh, she's scared of those things. Well, shall we um, rescue the fair maiden? I think we shall. Those. Here is a uh, vineyard infestation. I think we want insectoid oil on our sword for this. I think. I think that's right. So let's go fight these things. Uh, and Drega workers. Say hey, what's up, y'all. Oh, oh, oh. Okay, one down. He's dead. Who's next? Oh, here's one right here. Come on. Look at those things. Wow. I don't know if I've ever seen one in such the light of day. They're pretty cool looking. They're very colorful. And they're not too hard to kill. So Geralt gets to rush in here and be the hero. And he really didn't have to work that hard. 
Oh, we have to... Um, Got to blow this up if I want to get rid of the Endrigas. That's right. Need to blow it up. Oh, look at all the dead bodies. Carrot likes to blow things up. Okay, well, we took care of this vineyard infestation. Let's see if there's somebody up here willing to uh, thank us for our hard work. Peasant supervisor. Oh, well, you're welcome. A day like all others. A day like all others. Well, I mean, it's looking pretty pretty. Pretty pretty. It's looking beautiful here, so the weather's nice. The view is uh Why don't you all just very nice. Get off my back. Well get out of my way and I'll get off your back. Alright, let's uh, resume our uh trek over here. Do this question mark. Merkwood. Oh, Merlacia. Oh, this is that cemetery. Whoa, 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 whoa. Whoa, whoa. I do not want to be fighting these things. Whoa. Okay, thanks a lot. Thanks a lot, Roach. Whoa, 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 whoa. Let's move on. Let's get out of here. Couldn't pick some other place to meet. Uh so this is um Part of the main quest, I believe. Regis wanted to meet us in that Lexalon or whatever. I'm sure I'm pronouncing that incredibly wrong. That cemetery. Uh, look at that quest right now. The main quest. Meet Regis at Mare La Chase Long La Chase Long Cemetery. I don't want to do that right now. Uh, even though we are right here. We'll come back to this. I'm going to run over here to this... Uh, Undiscovered location and see what's going on over here. Getting pretty close. Okay. Well, there's the question mark on our mini map. And quite a few question marks. I wonder if that means. Oh, no, it's a monster nest. I was going to say maybe it's a bandit camp, but uh, we've got a monster nest up ahead. And. Oh, 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 arch spores. Arch spores. Okay. Let's, um, well, I should still have insect oil on my weapon. So we're ready there. Uh, we're gonna quint it up, because these things are nasty, and holy cow, according to my mini-map, there are a ton of these. Let's get in here and wail on this thing a bit. Okay. There's a bit of wailing. Get my quint back up. Come on, Carol. Come on, Carol. Carol, hit it. Ouch. Oh, crap. I'm in trouble. I'm in trouble. Whoa, roll, Carol. Roll. Ooh, that... Well, that arch support is almost dead. All right, let's let our health get back up a little bit. Oh, jeez. Holy cow. Great shot. Okay, that arch spore's dead. Holy hell. Okay. Oh, 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 oh. Get our Quen back up. Get a little bit of health going in here. There's, holy cow, how many of these things are left? Gee whiz. Well, on this guy a little bit. Okay, we killed another one. Ouch. Get our Quen back up. Oh, you... No. I don't think it's dead yet, is it? There's still another one, right? I don't think that was all. Yeah, maybe it was. Here is the nest. Will sprout again. Should destroy the area if I want to get rid of them for good. Do you want to get rid of them for good, Geralt? Yes, I do think you do. Step away. Huh. A skull and some florins, some boots, some stuff. Okay, well, we took care of this monster nest. Here's another body. A leather-bound journal. Can we read it? By golly, we can. The Byzants jumped up again. Gods, Chinfinelli won't have any pity on me. What the heck does the Byzant mean? Why, oh why, did I take out a loan in a foreign currency? Those heartless bankers will have my hide. What'll I tell the wife? If things continue like this, 
will soon be copperless. Grandpapa mentioned something about elven ruins full of treasure flooded by the river centuries ago. Perhaps I really might find something there, enough for the next payment, if nothing else. Million and one sad stories here in the land of the Witcher. All right, well, let's uh, search for the entrance to the professor's laboratory. And I guess we're going to have to do a bit of swimming. And uh, we found an entrance here. So... I guess this is it. Right? Is this the entrance to the laboratory? Whoa. Holy cow. Oh no. Oh gosh. Uh, I hope there's going to be some air down here. Here we go. Come on girl, you can go faster than that. Oh, what's with the music? Hold on now. Come on. Oh, oh, what the? There, Carol, what are you doing? Okay, fine. Swim up to the top. Catch your breath. Come back down and search for stuff down there. There's something else swimming around in here? So here's a skeleton. A ring on it. And there's a bunch of stuff down here. Let's loot it. Florins. Other stuff, hornworts, uh, an ingot and a sword. Oh, crowns, crowns. Well, there's uh, quite a bit of loot down here. Whetstone, what's this? Locked, key required. We gotta find a key to that. Crowns, lots of crowns. Okay, so. We have to remember that there's a chest down here that we were not able to open. So we're going to have to search for it, I guess. Um, okay, that doesn't go anywhere. So we need to find an entrance to a laboratory. So maybe this is a knot, this is a knot at the entrance to the laboratory. sure the the little circle um, on the map would lead me to believe it's someplace else Carol you need to climb swim up dude swim up get away from me I'm not interested get away from me having enough trouble swimming without you being here let's go okay so that was just a different thing Carol go up man jeez I gotta give me so much trouble Geralt Holy cow, there's a ton of stuff down here. So, I guess lots of shipwrecks here, maybe. A skull. Don't want that. Okay, ballads and hymns. Skull and some florins. I don't know, man. I'm just swimming around, picking stuff up. Could be something interesting down here. Florins. Florins. Ashes. Yeah, let's pick that up. Get some breath. Get our breath back. Go back underwater. Well, uh, what do I have selected? Get away from me. Stupid drowner. Alright. One drowner down. Um... The circle... Is pointing us around in this direction. Glyph. Can I get through here? Probably not. Of course not. Come on, Geralt. Geralt! Geralt! Alright, let's go up and get our breath back. 
Alright. This is fun. Well, I got uh, more drowners to deal with, it would look like. Haha, uh, you're dead. Okay... Where was that chest I saw? Not seeing it now. I don't know where it was, but... We need to, uh... Find the entrance to this lab. Oh, did get him that time. Okay! Was I shooting at a shadow? Okay, now the circle's over here. Alright, you stupid drowner. Didn't you see what happened to your... your family? Oh, he's not quite dead. Oh! Here, screw you. Oh, there is a portal here. Check it out. All right. Carol, it's all wet. This is neat. <laughs> well, that's a neat view. Grave robber must have found something in Moreau's tomb to activate the entry portal. Wonder what surprises this place has in store. I wonder too. Uh, search the ruins. I can do that. But I'm gonna meditate first. Get my potions back. Received experience points too. Thanks. Thanks, game. Necklace. Mushrooms. Well, somebody left the lights on. Search the ruins. Huh, elven tools. I hear some deep sounds. Like as if something big is walking around or if rocks are shifting or something. Not sure what it is. Whoa. Spikes. Whoa. Sick sense of humor someone's got. Okay. Whoa, okay, enough with that. I don't like that sound at all. Oh gosh. Oh man. Oh. Ugh. Oh. What if we went around? See if this is a mistake. I do not like that sound. There's something in red, wasn't it? Examine. Mm, seems someone besides me would be ferreting around here. Someone's slim. No way I can slink through there. Find a way around. Huh, somebody's slim. Oh my gosh, I do not like that sound effect one bit. A little bit of loot. Um. Huh, can I get up here? Uh, of course not. Oh no, I can't. Okay, let's see if there's anything cool up here. So, I think we made it to the other side of the spiky path, except that uh, it continues in this direction. Yikes! I mean, there may very well be a chest down here. Carol, you need to move. Carol, move! Gosh, why are you walking so slow? Gosh. You're annoying the crap out of me, Geralt. Geralt, move. Geralt. Gosh, Geralt! I don't know what he's doing. I, I don't know what the hell he's doing. I mean, 
I'm trying to make him jump, and I'm trying to make him walk fast, and he is just taking his sweet time. Uh, very, very frustrating. Very frustrating. The um, This game is amazing. It is. But they really need to work on movement. Oh, where the hell am I? Oh, okay, I'm here. Okay, I'm not too far away. Uh, now, I don't remember what was in that. See, look how slow he's going. Uh, I don't remember what was in that chest that I just looted. See, now he's going fast again. And now he's going slow again. So, you tell me what the hell's going on. I don't know. Okay, I jumped over it. I got hurt, though. So, what's in here? Ingot, pearl, runestone, florins, and a magic item. Was it worth it? I don't know. So, I'm going to heal myself up a bit, and then I'm going to try to jump over this bull trap again. Probably don't want to jump over that. Alright, almost healed up. Good. F5, and... Okay, well, at least I mostly made it. At least I didn't die. And we got ourselves some stuff in a chest. Alright. Why are you walking slow, Geralt? Eh, bunch of crap. So I'm sure you hear those sound effects too, those real deep sound effects. I'm not sure what's causing those sound effects, but it's kind of scary sounding. Ooh, whoa, oh, 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 great. Ouch. Yep, so much for Quinn. Ah, oh, jeez. Ouch. Am I even hitting these damn things? Okay. Now to find a way into the laboratory. Well, that was interesting. Keep moving. This looks like the right way to go. Whoa, okay. Well, there's a hole there. And, um... I mean, there's a chest down there. Jeez, that's what we got? An axe? Huh. Interesting. Oh! <laughs> uh, you are dead. Yeah. Like, just a little too slow of a reaction time there. To protect myself from that. All right. And... Oh, good. I got lucky. thought for sure it was going to put me further back than that. So, I don't think it's worth going down there for that axe. This may be where we would have gone... If we had gone in the other direction. Yeah, this is, um... That's where we died. Right over there. And here is the uh, chest. With a dumb meteorite axe in it. Well, that keeps going that way. Oh, crap. I do not know which way to go. Picking it up, man. Huh, is this a dead end? I think we found a dead end. But we got some goodies. 
What is going on in this place? What is making these noises? Another body. More stuff. Hmm. Take. Professor Moreau's diary. Let's read it. Geralt likes to read people's diaries. Since certain suspicion, uh, since certain suspicious individuals have begun hanging around outside my laboratory, I have been forced to implement additional security measures. I suspect they are but common criminals looking for something shiny to steal and have no real interest in my research, but better safe than sorry. Illeg illegible fragment. Furthermore, on the advice of an engineer acquaintance of mine, I have decided to secure the premises with a simple mechanical apparatus. In one of the rooms along the route to the laboratory, I have installed a mechanism for locking and unlocking the doors, which is operated by pressing four protruding, protruding stones placed high up on the walls. I can bypass this lock with ease by using a simple spell, but a common thief will be faced with a double challenge. First, he must notice these stones and puzzle out their purpose. Then, he must find a way to press them. Well, I can't wait to figure out how to do that. Ignite. Here is a crossbow. Ah, well, there you go. Um, that's how you press the stones, with the crossbow. Whoa, I'm on fire. Okay, I ran right through fire. Um, here is that, uh, narrow... Oh! Oh, gosh, I thought I was gonna die. No, I'm just back here again. Okay, never mind. I thought I had found the narrow passageway we saw earlier, but no, this is... I'm just back here. Okay. Uh, so I don't know why we needed to ignite that fire. Alright, Geralt. Climb on the boulder. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, goody. Do I get to fight another one of these? I do! <laughs> there. Go back to wherever you came from. Go deeper into the ruins. Well, if I must... We got a uh, room that goes nowhere here. There is one of the uh, things I'm supposed to notice. Did that do anything? I don't think it did. Okay, that doesn't seem to be doing anything. But you saw it was red. Okay, let's move into this room. Whoa, what was that? Nothing? Huh, some good stuff. It's like this. Is this uh, one of the things I'm supposed to press? Okay, we got that one. Hmm. I don't think Geralt has the ability to slide down ropes, does he? Um, I mean, a lot of games offer that ability, but I don't think this is one of them. Okay, I guess pieces of the door are moving as I shoot these uh, markers. Where are some more markers? Huh. There's a rope here. Um, I don't, know, I don't know if Geralt has the ability to do this. I don't think he does. I don't think he can zipline, so I'm not real sure why that rope was showing up as red under our Witcher's senses. Um, don't know if I'm supposed to catch it on fire or what, but I saved right before I did that, so... So you see it's red. 
The rope itself is red. Let me try it again. Maybe I didn't line it up right. Yeah, I didn't think that's something Geralt knew how to do. So why is that showing up as red? What am I supposed to do with that? I don't know. There was no mention of any rope in Moreau's journal. So we've shot two of the things. There are going to be two more somewhere. But where, I don't know. Gold casket and a bunch of crap. So what am I supposed to do with this? Examine. Not bad. Wouldn't mind having something like that myself. What? Not bad. Not bad. Wouldn't mind having something like that myself. What? What's he talking about? Not bad. Wouldn't mind having something like that myself. Uh I don't know. Not bad. Wouldn't mind having something like that myself. What what the hell's he talking about? So I've already tried to jump up and zip line. I mean, there's a, like a pickaxe there, um, but that doesn't help me any. Are there more of these markers out here? It's weird that in here there was, I mean, that's definitely showing up as red. Oops. So why is that red? Doesn't seem to be doing anything at all. Uh, okay. Oh, there's, oh, there's a whole bunch of red things in here. What? What the hell? Whoever was here must have scaled that wall, evaded the Panthers. Okay, am I supposed to scale the wall? Um, no. Uh. Alright. Um. Okay. Great. Oh, there's one. Oh, here they are. Okay. Oh, girl doesn't like the stench. Why? Why does it seem like that did nothing? Uh, did it? Oh, did it? Okay. All right. So maybe that rope back there was just to show how this grave robber made it over there. Whew. Interesting as places go. Seems someone put a lot of thought into its design. Oh crap! Should look around. Find a way to go forward. Well, I'll save my game if I want to. Oh! Ugh. Yeah, I figured as much. Alright. Um, elemental oil, maybe? A little bit of that on our sword. So, am I gonna fight all these gargoyles? Because there's a lot of them in here. Hey. Alright, he's dead. Get some stuff from him. Here's a little something something. Gold diamond necklace. What's this? Gargoyle Paw. Great. Portals. 
<laughs> this just keeps getting better. It does, doesn't it? Well, this isn't a portal. Where does this take us? Oh. <laughs> uh, it takes us to where we came from, maybe? Find a path through the portals. Well, this should be fun. Portal, 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 portal. Well, we're not getting any hints. And now at least we're on the second floor. I take that as a good sign. I guess we're trying to go up. Where's this one take us? This one took us back to the first floor. Okay, back where we started. So, we're gonna take the one to the left. Okay. And now we're gonna try this one. And... Damn it. Back, back where, where we started. started. Okay, so... This one... Get us to the second floor. Now we're gonna run across, because it's the only one we haven't tried yet. What? Oh, and of course I can't get over there. So, um... How do, I, how, to find the next portal. how do I get over there? Well, I have to assume this one's going to take me back where I came from, isn't it? And it is. Okay. It. Wrong again. So There's I'm going to... some clue around here. Oh, clue. Okay. A clue. Here we go. Let's check this guy out. Nope. What's that all about? Why is that showing up? Oh, it's just the portal upstairs, I guess. Clue. There wasn't a clue in there. Well, I'm not. I'm using my Witcher senses. I'm not seeing any clues. Alright, let's go into this one. Damn it. Back where I started. Okay, that one just takes us right back to where we started. So we've gone in the left one, we've gone in the right one, now we're gonna go in the one across. Okay then, well now I really don't know what to do. Must be a clue. Witcher senses are showing me nothing. At all. Nothing here. With the Witcher senses. There's some, uh gargoyles around here, but I don't feel like they're really showing me anything. So, I mean, this one takes me to the second floor, but we have gone through every portal on this floor, and I do not know how to get to that portal over there. So, I don't know what to do now. I mean, that's just where we were, right? Yeah, here's where we came. Or is it? Oh. Oh, this is a different place. Oh. Oh, crap. I didn't realize this. This is a different room. Holy hell. Uh... Well, if there's any clues, I sure don't see any. Um, is the lighting telling me something? Um, I don't know, man. Statue 
statues seem oddly oriented, as if to all face in one direction. The right portal, maybe. So is that what's going on here? That the game is finally telling me what to do? Uh, that's embarrassing. That's sad that the game had to tell me how to solve the riddle. Oh well. I'll take it. Okay, so the statue's facing this way. I mean, I don't see anything weird about the way the statue's facing. How was I supposed to figure that out? Okay. What? Okay. So, so much for the way the statues are facing. Right, right. Now to find the next portal. So... I said the way the statues are facing, but... It doesn't make any sense. He says all the statues. I mean, I don't think he's talking about these. This one here is facing this way. So I go through it. Right? All right. Now to find the next one. This one is facing... Oh. Do I climb up? Oh, okay. Maybe it's actually facing this one? Okay. Alright, now to find the next portal. Alright, okay. Statue is down there. Oh! Um, and the statue is facing... Kind of this direction. Good lord. Uh, but what floor do I go in, you know? Do I go in here or do I have to climb down? Whew, okay. Must be where Moreau had his lab. Uh, okay, now we get to search the laboratory. Taking all your crap, man. Making me go through all this trouble. More stuff. Taking it all. I'm gonna get rich selling all this crap. Whoa, what was that? What was that noise? Now somebody or something is here. Interact. Crystals. Should mount them in the megascope. Missing two crystals. Okay. Optionally, find the missing megascope crystals. Well, you're darn right I'm going to find them. Take. The so-called giant centipedes are my only comfort in exile. Pretty sure we already read that one. That is what um, gave us uh, the bestiary entry for those things. Take megascope crystal. There's one. Oh, look at this. Guessing this man didn't come here willingly. Probably not, Geralt. Probably not. Intriguing as machinery goes, but how do I start it up? And why do you want to? Use. Need to pick an entry. What? Oh. Uh. Oh. What? Uh. Crystal for this entry's missing. Might be somewhere. Should look around. Okay. Well, let me look around then. How do I get out of this? I don't. I. Uh, I don't know what I'm doing here. Um. Hmm. 
The 18th of Yule, year 1102. Today I begin my great life's endeavor, one greater and more significant than any I have thus far undertaken, for it relates to me personally, to myself and my son. When 15 years passed, a beast of the forest assaulted me. A witcher came to my aid, saved my life. I could not know that for said salvation, I would in the end pay by relinquishing any say as to my own son's fate. Had I the skill to turn back time, I would have done so, and perished rather than surrender to the witchers my only son. But as it was, on the day when Jerome was taken, I swore an oath on my honor that I would recover my son. Today, following years of research and preparation, I have at last devised a device that allows me to study mutations. If the gods in their goodness grant me but a bit of favor, I shall find a way to reverse said mutations and restore Jerome to a normal life. Okay. So, Professor wasn't out to enhance Witcher mutations, wanted to reverse them. Wonder if he managed, and if there's anything in it for me. Hmm. Uh, can I? Okay. Um. Darn it, I want to leave this and, and go look for the other crystal. How do I get out of this? I don't know. Okay, let's watch the second entry. Darn it, did I miss my chance? I probably did, didn't I? Observation 22. Despite applying a surfeit of toxic substances, significantly more than usual, the subject displayed no symptoms of overdosing. I believe this to be an effect of the mutations. Thus, a minor success. This mutation should allow Jerome better to tolerate toxicity. Uh, so yeah, you've gathered that um, the witchers took his son away. I didn't really get why they did, but they took him away and apparently turned him into a witcher and he wants to turn him back into a non-witcher. Observation number 30. The mutations do not set in at once. Curiously, they do not develop over a span of time. Rather, for a mutation to progress towards completion, the appropriate mutagen must be applied continuously. The subject does not bear this well, but I found a way to make the mutations less taxing, invasive. To the mutagen base, I add the albumin of a mutated giant centipede egg. Stored in the Glasterarium, the eggs do not develop. Remain small. The eggs themselves are a sight to behold. Mutated, they are luminescent, emitting a wondrous glow. I can only hope my addition of the albumin will produce no significant side effects. Time will tell. Okay. Years of experiments, research, sacrifice, all for naught. I have failed to achieve my defined objective. Each mutation I applied to my subjects proved ineffective when applied to Jerome. What I meant to cure him of his witcherism, that which I meant to restore to him a normal life, only deepened his mutations, further augmented his speed and strength, rendered him yet more inhuman. It seems my son must remain a witcher forever. I have failed. The time has come to abandon this place. Return home to Lydia. She may yet deign to take me back. The contraption and mutagens I leave here. Let them wither and crumble. As did my dreams of regaining my son. Hmm. 
Hmm. So the professor wanted to reverse the mutation's effects. Ended up deepening them. Stroke of luck for me. Could profit from his failure. Alright, well I'm a little annoyed here. I didn't know that simply inspecting this was going to lock me into this. Um, so now I feel like I'm screwed and I can't go back and get this crystal. So, Professor tried to neutralize the effects of Witcher mutations. Only managed to enhance them though. Used the albumens of giant centipede eggs as his mutagen base. Need to go on an egg hunt. Oh goody. Um, all right, let's find the other, uh, see if we could find the other crystal. And hopefully we could, um, Moreau must have kept his son in here. Grim. See if we can't find the other crystal and listen to that final recording. Quite the library. Mostly tomes on mutations and genetics. Witcher Mutations, an introduction to research. Before embarking on any consideration of the mutations undergone by witchers, let alone researching them, one should be aware of the specific physiology and biochemistry of these individuals. The transformations they experience during the trial of the grasses, which are widely considered to be irreversible, cause witchers to become infertile, while significantly increasing their physical strength and sharpening their senses. The processes also deprive witchers of emotions and human reflexes. Although information about the trial of the grasses and other transformations to which young adepts of the witcher craft are subjected is strictly protected by master witchers and witcher sorcerers, Ludovic Celestin of Banard claims the albumen of gray scolopendromorphs, the strain of giant centipede more commonly known as pale widows, constituted the basis of witcher mutagens. However, all research confirming this theory has been lost. Where is the other crystal? Huh. Well, hopefully it's not down in there. Here's something. Here's something here. Here's the other crystal. Here's the other crystal. Alright, now let's um, go and listen to that final message. Okay. Just need to pick an entry. So, now we can listen to the fourth entry. Observation 58. Sometimes failure is the catalyst for success. I've discovered a method by which one type of mutagen may be transmuted into another through the addition of certain ingredients. This is a great day for science. In addition, I observed that today's dose of mutagens brought the subject to the brink of death. He then suddenly awoke, revived, his strength renewed. Not wholly, of course, but he did in a sense come back from the edge of death. Whether this is attributable to his mutations or to pure coincidence cannot be ascertained. I must conduct further experiments. Okay. Good. We were seen able to enough. do that. He's seen enough. Uh, there was like one other thing in here that it looked like I could interact with. Loot. Preserved organs. Hope their donors weren't forced to give them up. Okay, and uh, here's a crystal. I can't seem to do anything with. So once upon a time, you could go through that portal, but uh, this crystal, I guess, has run out of power. Okay, well now we're here to acquire mutated giant centipede albumin. Do we do that here in the lab? Yeah, looks like maybe we need to maybe go outside and go do that. And we'll do that next time as it is time for me to end this play session. Well, interesting. Um, I don't know, are we gonna be able to make Geralt even more powerful? Kinda sounds like it. We shall see. 
Well, thanks for joining me on this episode. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, why don't you let me know by leaving a like or a comment. And if you're not a subscriber, why don't you please consider subscribing. Thank you guys so much for watching. I sure do hope you join me again in the next episode.